Now to the Trump presidency. Attorney General William Barr informed House Democrats he would not show up at today's judiciary hearing, and he was true to his word. CBS 4's Nicole Killian is on Capitol Hill with what happens next. The House Judiciary Committee held a hearing, but the witness didn't show. Ordinarily at this point, I would introduce the witness. But instead, but instead, we will conclude this proceedings. Attorney General William Barr was scheduled to testify about his handling of special counsel Robert Mueller's report this morning, but he backed out when Democrats added an extra hour of questioning by staff attorneys. If he and his committee aren't capable of actually asking the attorney general questions themselves and need to staff that out, it seems like a pretty pathetic uh, moment for the chairman of that committee. Republicans point to the five hours of testimony in the Senate Wednesday as proof the attorney general is willing to answer Congress's questions. Instead, we go back to a circus political stunt to say we want it to look like an impeachment hearing because they won't bring impeachment proceedings. The Justice Department called the committee's request for staff lawyers inappropriate and unnecessary, and so far it has also not complied with a subpoena to turn over the full unredacted Mueller report. Committee Chairman Jerry Nadler says he is willing to hold the Attorney General in contempt of Congress. If he does not provide this committee with the information it demands and the respect it deserves, Mr. Barr's moment of accountability will come soon enough. That will set up a battle that will likely be settled in the courts. Nicole Killian, CBS News, Capitol Hill. And President Trump has vowed to fight back against congressional subpoenas, which he views as presidential harassment, including a subpoena for his personal and business tax returns.